Hi, I'm Katie Rubin and I'm a teacher of history at Saltash.net Community School and I firmly believe that everyone needs a project. Uh, it doesn't always have to be that mountain far away, sometimes it can be a little bit closer to home. So um, my project is based on my passions as an educator and I really want to be part of that light bulb moment where young people break through that conceptual world of understanding and they reach something that they never believed they could. For me, for that to happen, it has to be underpinned by the learners taking control of, of what they're doing, uh, whether that's through uh, creating their own resources, whether that's through helping to design the curriculum, they have to be involved in it so that they believe it can happen and it becomes meaningful to them. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my project, um, which has been running for three years, uh, which has been influenced by this desire to allow students to influence their own learning. So my, my young people have been forging community links with people of the older and the younger generation where they have been able to demonstrate that learning isn't something that should be restricted to the confines of the classroom. No matter what the age, no matter what the topic, you can learn something. And this has been facilitated by the passion and, and the common link of an interest in history, whether it's local, national or international. <clears throat> so where does the technology come into it? Uh, as you might have guessed, uh, I am a Microsoft expert educator, but I am by no means an expert in the use of technology. That's where the young people come in. So they're comfortable with using things like Photosynth, for example, to create virtual tours of places of local historical interest. They're comfortable with using things like Minecraft to do something similar, or even trying a new challenge and using the Touch Develop website to teach themselves how to code, because I don't know how. In able to do it, by doing this, they have been able to create resources for younger people, for people of the older generation, and for their peers. So where's my journey come into this? Well, I've been part of the PIL program for uh, three quarters of my teaching career. So that's 2,300 hours of teaching-ish. It's 35 classes and 950 students who have been influenced by the fact that I have been part of the PIL programme, which has taught me that I need to allow the young people to take responsibility for their learning. And I have been able to see that in projects that have been designed all around the world. It's also allowed me to grow as an educator. Uh, in, in the past six months, I have embarked on my Masters in Education with a focus on student feedback and teacher-student communication. I've also become uh, the initial teacher training coordinator at my school, which allows me to be part of the training process for new teachers. So my project, what, what's the learning, what's it all about then? Well, this project isn't just based on the use of a new WYSI technology. It's based on the fact that our young people can gain so much through connecting with their community and through speaking to people of the older or the younger generation. Technology has enhanced this, technology has allowed this, it, and it has made our young people's curriculum become enriched, made the community feel a little bit smaller, and helped me to grow as an educator. Thank you.